This is video about my reshade that I'm using with the every Raiders I ever played. And this is how it pretty much looks like. And uh, let's see how it looks without it. Pretty plain and grey. I do not like it, it's not so lifelike and uh, because there was some kind of uh, anti-aliasing and such. Uh, even those edges with the trees. And there we go, in the, on the top of the building. Now, much more linear or smoother, like those trees now. Pretty smooth, and much more lifelike and colorless. I mean, colorful. So, the point of this video is I'm gonna show you how it looks like in different places, and how to install this, and what are my settings. So, in the end of the video, there is how to install this, and uh, my settings as well. So let's see how the game looks like with the reshade on.
there were some samples of the areas in this game. Sadly, I haven't opened all the areas yet. I just got the hero's lane, which is still pretty much at the beginning of the game. But you get the idea, probably. So, back to Reshade. When you press the home key, you should see something like this. Except you don't see these first. You need to press here with the plus icon. Write some name, like mine as writers C, Al, I mean L, which stands for Legion, of course. And uh, when you have done that, these open. And you have pretty much a lot of tools, like tone maps and such, which is gamma exposure, saturation, and whatever. There's a lot here which you can play around with. I've only used three of them. Like, let's see. Pretty clearly, colorfulness. Which gives a nice little buff. I usually like to go way over the top, so if this is way too colorful, you can just dial it down for yourself. I think 300 is uh, something like a normal, not too much, but just a little buff. Oh, that's way too much. Let's see. There we go. Back to 600. And uh, this is probably what affects the most of the depth of the picture. It's kind of, like you see here, fake HDR. It's not really HDR, but it's kind of mimics the one. So, I have, again, really maxed out. So, this is probably 1600 is really good. It's not too dark, as you probably see in some uh, dungeon areas. There's a lot of darkness, so if you don't like that and like to see more, just drop this down a little bit. Mine is 2000, because, again, I pretty much max everything and this is what I like probably the most because uh, this is what makes everything smoother if you see the tree again it's pretty rough at the edges and the bridge as well so those rails and now much more smoother Perhaps a little too smooth for some people's eyes, but I like it. And uh, I'm gonna leave my these settings uh, in a file in the description where you can download it if you wanna use mine and not wanna test yourself, experiment as you want. And also I'm gonna leave in the description a link to the reshade. So you don't need to even use a Google, just press the link and it go straight to, you know, reshade site where you can download that and try this on yourself. So hopefully this video was somehow useful for some people. It works almost with any game, really. So, please, we welcome and try it out. So, how to download and install a reshade? You just go to Google, type reshade, go to reshade site, you can click the download, and it seems the newest version is this, 4.3.0. Download it wherever you want. Then when you have it, I do have many different ver versions, but this is the newest one, as you can see there. Right there. You click on it, run it. And this is probably what some people might confuse about. Just Look for the Raiders, Launcher, and then it asks you the, what um, DirectX the game is using. Uh, this game is using DirectX 9, but I've already done this, so... Well, I don't know. Let's do it again. Now, it, I think it knows that I already have reshade, so... Yes, overwrite or no, uninstall. So it doesn't matter, really, if you pick the wrong exe. Because you can always uninstall or just override. So let's do that. Now it asks you, yeah, effects, whatever you want to choose. There we go. And here you can also, as you can see, select which effects files you want to install. I always put them all, because why not? And they're really small files, so it doesn't really matter. And it's done. Then just I. Uh, it works. Next time you launch your Raiders, it should be on.